Okay, so the first thing I noticed um, about Label Me was that it's hard to see what's off in the distance. So I found that if you work backwards through the images, then it'll be easier because you'll have seen a closer version first, and then as you back up, you will see that that is still a person even if it's hard to see in that later image. Um, so uh, I would suggest going backwards. Next we'll do a little annotation. So you can use these buttons up here to go forward and back uh, through the images. That's I think the easiest way. So we'll take a look at this one. I mostly use the rectangle. It's uh, the fastest one. Um, so it's great for things like backs of cars, um, people, um, anything that's not a really weird shape. I typically just use the rectangle for that. Um, so here we have a person. And you can see it color codes. Cars will always be blue and people will always be yellow. Uh, over here, uh, there's a car that's being blocked by the wall. So Label Me says to draw your box to where you think the car is, even behind the wall. And then check this box that says is occluded. Uh, that means that it's being blocked by something. But when you draw, draw your box, do it all the way until you think estimated where the car would stop. Um, so now I'm going to use the polygon tool uh, since this truck has some different angles. Uh, it might be easier to use the polygon instead of the rectangle. Um, once you connect to the polygon, you can label it. So we'll label that truck. Click done. Um, yeah, so those are the basics. Um, again, I use the rectangle mostly. Label cars, it's, it's the fastest, just label it. Uh, click done and you can move on. But I will use the polygon tool for uh, things that have different shapes, funny shapes. Um, also, don't remember that if it's occluded, meaning it's being blocked, this car is not being blocked, so I check no. But if it's like the car to the side, then we would check yes. And that's about it for Label Me. I'll do one more car, which is occluded. You can see it's being blocked by the other car uh, that we labeled before. So check yes on is occluded and click done. Um, if you ever accidentally click and that happens, you can just click again, hit delete, and you'll be able to start where you want to. So make sure you're checking uh, this object label. So we've made a few updates, but as I said, we're going to call anything a motorbike that's a motorbike, motorcycle, scooter, also bicycle or bike. Uh, just do the whole entire person included because we're really just concerned uh, that there's an object that we need to avoid. So uh, we just don't want to collide with it and those, those all have similar features so we'll call them all motorbikes. Uh, we talked about traffic signals and electrical poles and decided to wait on those because we want to get some good data. So we'll start with objects that are on the road. Um, just be careful when you're labeling them. Let's do all lowercase so we're consistent. And uh, so I'm going to change that poles to be lowercase p. Um, but let's wait on poles and traffic signals and things. We'll just do what's on the road first and then we can build a model using that. If you have any more questions, head to object detection and Slack, 
and post them there so we can discuss and uh, you probably will have some questions as I go through. I noticed that uh, you get more and more questions as you're annotating different different images. So just share them there and we can discuss and make sure that we stay consistent so our model can be trained um, with consistent data. I think that will be best. All right, thanks guys. We'll talk to you later.